after House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's trip to Taiwan. Today, Pelosi visited the Taiwanese legislature, and she met with the island's president. Now Beijing responded with military exercises. The White House's John Kirby joined CBS Mornings earlier today to discuss China's response and the future implications of the speaker's trip. This is exactly what we expected the Chinese to do. We talked about this a couple of days ago. We expected them to conduct some exercises and, and to make some uh, more bellicose rhetoric out there, to fly uh, aircraft, of course, uh, uh, in and around uh, the Taiwan Strait. So uh, all of this is of a piece of what we expected the Chinese to do in terms of reaction. In terms of what goes on f in, the, in the future here, we would again urge uh, the Chinese not to escalate tensions any more than they already are, because there's no reason to. Uh, the trip is complete. It was completely consistent with uh, our obligations under the Taiwan Relations Act and with our One China policy. So we urge the, the Chinese uh, to look for opportunities to de-escalate the tensions um, and, and to keep the lines of communication open. Tackling ...just off its coast as irrational and accusing Beijing of undermining regional peace. China fired several missiles into the waters of Taiwan today in live fire military exercises. Video posted on Weibo shows rockets being launched from Pingtan County. Now, one of the closest points on the mainland to Taiwan, you can see it on your screen there, China's largest ever drills in Taiwan Strait, coming one day after U.S. Speaker Nancy Pelosi paid a visit to Taiwanese officials angering Beijing. She's now moved on to South Korea and Japan. But Since the moment of Nancy Pelosi landing within Taiwan, China moved in and has been doing, quote, military drill practice around Taiwan. So um, I bet a lot of people are asking, so what is the next step since all this has been going on? And a lot of people are, uh, quote unquote, speculating that there will be a World War III. And at this point, there is no speculation. It is on the table. Um, China dealt their first card. Um, then America dealt their first card, and then China's betting on the U.S. to make their next move. It's a game of poker and bluffing, and at this point, obviously, China does not seem like they are bluffing. Um, China has patience just as much as Russia, but, but the difference between the two is that China... When they say they're going to do something, they will do it. Now, with Russia, they also do the same thing, but they're a lot more, um, uh, I guess you could say, calculated within their tactical moves with, like, paperwork and money. Uh, China tends, tends to be politically more aggressive when it comes to military action um, because even though they may not have the manpower or the technology, their will as a country and their people is very headstrong. And when they say they will do something, they will do something. So I am not surprised. Um, and a lot of people who pay attention to this and have been, pay have been paying attention are not surprised by China's moves. And um, if you're not paying attention... Don't be surprised in future actions of what will be going on um, because the U.S., I know that they wanted to look like the top dog and to look more bigger and badder than China, but the problem is, is again, they have the willpower, they have the heart of 
the dragon because that's who they are. And um, they have more manpower. So regardless of what their technology is like, they have more civilians that will and are required to join the army to fight for their country. Where America, it's a willing draft. Um, but even if they were to do a all gender draft, which it looks like that might be coming, um, Americans do not have the will and the heart like China and their people. So be prepared. Literally, this is the time to prepare because you might not have another chance. Because if America decides to be as headstrong and as stubborn as China, we might be the next Ukraine. So, if you're not paying attention and you don't pay attention past this point, you can't blame anyone but yourself. Stay safe.